they have updated Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's now Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, and it includes this wonderful feature, the auto framing feature, where you can make one wonderful piece of video work and duplicate it as many times as you want with the system automatically doing all of the keyframing and focusing for you. I'm gonna show you how. Here we go. We're gonna dive straight into it. So in this case, here is Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. It updated literally around about 12 hours ago and I've had a little fiddle around with the auto reframe. What you can do is either start a new project or in my case, I've got one sat here for you and I've got a couple of clips. Let's have a look at these. Now this one is a couple dancing in 4K. Now in 4K, in 4K display, they're in the middle. You can see everything within there. That's not a problem. In 1080p, her head's cut off as she dances around and she kind of goes in and out of the frame. If you wanted to try and do it in a square format that you would put on, say, the Instagram news feed, then once again, her head's cut off and he's focused on and she keeps disappearing out of the frame. Or maybe you want to do it in a story. And once again, he, he seems to be having fun, but she seems to be disappearing. There's no longer a problem. I've got a fix for you. Now to quickly apply, the auto framing effect, you go to your effects panel, you type in auto, and then you'll see auto reframe. You drag it on to the video clip on your timeline. You'll see that it had that little orange bar. It went through all of the keyframes over here. See, you'll see the analyze. And now the video focuses and will move the frame if and where needed to keep her in the middle. In this case, not so much because they've simply reframed it so it goes from 4K to 1080. Let's try it in the IG feed. Drag, drop, it analyzes. You see it on the right hand side that it goes through all of the frames. Now, it's more squared out. You'll see all of the figures on the right hand side have changed a little bit. It scaled itself to fit the frame. And here's the magic. I go back to the start of the clip and now it follows the lady. It focused the core of the video on the core action. Now, she's there dancing, so it's taken a fair bit of time. It pans a bit slowly. So if you're a bit worried, what you can do is you can change how much it pans and how quickly the motion is by this here. So on the drop down, you use the motion preset. If it's slow, say for example, it's slow motion boating, then you can slow it down. Default is normally fine for everything, but slow slow on the dancing would look like this. It's taken a little longer to catch her going out of the frame. Right? So it's not so good for dancing. Default did okay, but faster will catch every movement. So say, for example, you're on a motorcycle or, you know, you're dancing whatever that dance happens to be. You'll now see that it's much more focused on keeping her in the middle of the frame. Why don't we try and restrict it a little further? So this is 4K footage in a nine by 16 Instagram story. I'm going to drag and drop. It analyzes, it's now centered. And if we go back to the start of the clip once more, she is now the core focus. He even goes out of the frame, but she's there. It will track every single bit of her movement. But Alan, what if I've already got a sequence of a few clips and I, I don't want to drag and drop this auto reframing thing. I want to do the whole thing in one go. Not a problem. You build out your timeline, you select your sequence on the left hand side, you right click and you auto reframe sequence. It now says what do you want to reframe it as and what do you want to call it as. Now I, let's say I want to make it into a vertical story and I want to keep with the action so i'm going to keep it faster if you've got two options here you can either not nest the clips and it will replace all the current motion adjustments in other words if you manually adjusted anything it will wipe those out and it will do the keyframes yourself or you can nest the clips and it will keep all of your motion adjustments reframe it but it'll take out your transitions so i'm going to use the don't nest clips you'll see that it immediately changes the frame size it immediately analyzes and now all of that work that you've done in your previous clip has now been transformed. So here's her dancing around once again. 
without any problems. And here we've got a clip of them snowboarding, right? And once again, the focus right now is the snowboarders in the middle of the clip. It moves around, so you've got the wonderful mountain, right? And that's how you use the auto reframe in the new Adobe Premiere Pro 2020.